Come on in. Want to check out the George and Mary Turek Hall of Science with me? Let's, oh, first, I'm Amy Ely. I'm the director of STEM here at Catholic Central. And let's take a look at this amazing building together. This is the entrance that'll come from the main floor, the main academic hallway in the current Catholic Central School building. The hallway will open up into what is over 57,000 square feet of learning space, the George and Mary Turk Hall of Science. It's also known as the STEM wing. Come on, let's take a look. We're wearing a hard hat because this is an active construction site. You can hear it right now. Here we have the grand entrance. This is where the main entrance to this particular building is. There's also a stairwell that you'll be able to use to go up to the second floor once the stairs are installed. They're not there yet. But wait until you check this out. Welcome to the Grand Hall. The Grand Hall was modeled after Notre Dame University, and their Grand Hall is five stories tall. Ours is two. But this area will be for collaboration, for meeting up with friends, to hang out in while you're way into classes. There will be open doors that go out into a courtyard. Come check the courtyard out. So these classrooms are called STEM labs. There's two designs. There's STEM lab A, and there's six of those. And there's STEM lab B, and there's two of those. The only difference, STEM lab B does not have a fume hood in it. So that means we're not gonna use it for biology or chemistry. We'll only use it for physics and other things. But let's take a look at the ends of the Great Hall. That big wall down there, you might see the little boxes. That wall is gonna be a giant LCD screen. So kind of like a giant television. We'll be able to broadcast news and events. We can show a movie in here. This whole space is going to be open and usable for a lot of different things. Let's take a peek inside one of the labs. So this one is a STEM Lab B design. There's no hole cut in the wall for a fume hood to go. This is a laboratory classroom. The George and Mary Turk Hall of Science has eight of these laboratory classrooms that are modeled after universities, but only the most modern universities. In fact, I went and toured a number of universities this summer, and most of them still have the old fashioned laboratory, and then you leave and then you go to your class. Here, our teachers have the benefit of having a lab on the outside, there'll be lab tables, and then on the, in the center, it'll be classroom space with modifiable tables and chairs that can be slid to the side for experimentation and doing other activities. We're still in progress, but we're on schedule to be ready for the 2024-25 school year. Come on, let's see some more. This room right here might be of interest. Every two labs shares one large lab prep space. That's this room and you might notice that there's an exit to the outdoors. That is an emergency exit. So in case of emergency, students will file out those back doors and go directly outside. Safety first. This entrance goes into one of our small collaboration spaces. We'll be featuring augmented and virtual reality systems in there. Next to this, is kind of a cool room that you're not gonna find anywhere in a school near here. We're gonna have our own flight simulator. It's a Redbird flight simulator that was created for the US Navy pilots. There were 10 that were created for the Navy. And then our benefactor said, hey, can you make me one more? And he got that and is sending it to Catholic Central. We'll be using that in our aviation curriculum that kicks off next year. And then this room, is just a little bit different. It's not a STEM lab. It is a machine and robotics shop. This giant space is gonna house the latest and most up-to-date equipment to help us design and build robots. Catholic Central has an incredibly successful first robotics team, the Shambots. And in this space, they'll be able to create and use any instrument imaginable that they need to create their robot. Carbon fiber printers, got them. CNC mills, like subtractive engineering, got them. Laser cutters, got those too. 
and we've got plain old wrenches and hammers and drills and anything that you can imagine. But the best facility is what we're gonna have. Let's take a look and see where they're going to compete at. This is the robotics arena. In this space, we will have a full-size first robotics field. Every year, a new game field is announced or released, revealed, and that's what we're gonna have here most of the time. But it's also removable, so this, again, can be a multi-purpose space. There'll be tables that are bar height follow, or surrounding the room, so we'll be able to hold class in here if we need to, as well as use it for events. That big platform that's attached to the roof is going to be holding a Blue Angels jet. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Let's take a look back here and see what we've got. The sign might say lecture room, but this is really an immersive theater. Think like an IMAX, but without a ceiling and a back screen, 270 degree views, where you'll be able to completely immerse yourself through sight and sound in whatever your teacher or presenter is bringing to you. You're in social studies and you're learning about the Battle of the Bulge and you wanna see what it's like to crawl through the trenches? We can source a movie for that. You're in theology class and you're learning about the Stations of the Cross. It's okay, let's walk with Jesus in the immersive theater. That's what we can bring to you here. On top of that, we have a observer dome and a Celestron telescope on the second floor. We'll see that in a minute. And it is wired to come directly into this room. So we'll be able to see what they're seeing through that telescope right here in the immersive theater. Star party, never seen the big or little dipper, wanna see Mars up close? We can bring that to you here. Come on, let's see the rest. We have lots of blank wall space here because this is going to be for all of our awards for our robotics team or any other team that comes out of the George and Mary Turek Hall of Science. They have their own space to display that. Two things I'd like to show you here. First, the mysterious obelisk. It's really not that mysterious. It's a big concrete obelisk that was poured just about a year and a half ago. It was one of the first things that appeared on this construction site. Why? Because it needs to settle for at least a year because on top of this obelisk is going to set a Celestron telescope. Really high power, very sensitive. So it can't shake. This is set below the line of permafrost. So it goes down below, kind of like an iceberg underwater, goes down below at least five feet. I think it's closer to seven. But yes, the mysterious obelisk. Come with me and let me show you one more space on the main floor. This may not look like much right now, but this is going to be Catholic Central's greenhouse. In here, our teachers are going to be able to grow crops or things that they need for their classes. For example, biology. We're learning about genetics. Let's talk about doing our own Mendel's Peas experiments. Religion, you're learning about the ancient grains that were used in Mesopotamia or in Jordan or Jerusalem. Let's grow some of those ancient grains out here. But in the very middle, we're going to have aeroponic towers. Those aeroponic towers are going to be six feet tall and they can grow up to 59 plants each. And those plants will then be used and harvested to feed different hung, um, homeless shelters as well as veterans organizations. Eco-sustainability is what we're focusing on with the aeroponic towers because the water is dribbled in. It's not using a tank like um, aquaponics or hydroponics. But something new in eco-sustainability is what's being used in arid and desert areas all over the world. So we think a focus on that is important. We're gonna head upstairs and we're gonna stop on the top landing and check out something I'd really like to show you. Out this window, you'll see our, the area that's being prepped for our green roof. A green roof not only provides a cooler interior, it also adds green space. Anytime when you're making or creating a building, you have to provide a certain percentage as green space that you're also fostering. And that's what our green roof is gonna do for us. Let's go take out a couple, check out a couple more things. So remember we showed you the mysterious obelisk? This is where it ends. 
And up on top, it kind of looks like a circle because it is. We're gonna be putting an observa dome, a 4.3 meter dome on top that we can open and close depending on when we use the telescope. It's pretty amazing. And if you take a look out there, you see four little pillars. On top of those are going to be stanchions that we'll be able to attach different telescopes that aren't quite as big and powerful as the Celestron to, and they'll come in and out at night. The room over here is where we have all of our controls. Nothing is in there just yet. It's also where we'll store the telescopes when we're not using them. Let's go this way and check out one more classroom that's very different than any other. Let's take a peek out into the robotics arena from up here and get a bird's eye view. It's awesome. All of that glass was installed in two days. Let's check out the engineering lab. Come on in. This lab has a very unique design. It looks out over the robotics arena and it has a standard classroom space. This is where we'll do CAD, we'll do computer programming, as well as this whole wall over here has the ability to contain 30 3D printers. We're starting with about 15. There's a wall, well, a doorway, excuse me, a door that'll go right here and make this whole area vented because while PLA or the material used in 3D printing, it's not dangerous, Nobody wants to smell melting plastic all day. So this will be completely vented. We'll be doing 3D printing based off of the CAD and the modeling courses that we teach. And this whole area is very technology focused. Come on, there's one or two more things to look at. These big, huge blocks were all cut and designed specifically to size and placed one by one. I think it feels pretty substantial when I look at them, I feel safe. This is our collaboration and innovation lab. Students can come in here. Two of the walls will be right on, like they'll have glass and you'll be able to write on them with dry erase markers for collaboration within teams. And it's gonna be able to be checked out by teachers or any community groups that are using the building. And last but not least, I'd love to show you the grand hall from up above. Check that out. This will be a glass wall that's the barrier. But it's a pretty impressive place to come and learn. This room right here will be a hoteling room. And when I say hoteling, it's because it's transient. People can move in and out. So students need to get an assignment finished, if they need to print something, if they need to copy something, this is gonna be their place to do that down near this wing. And now, it's time to go. We gotta get this finished. Maybe you'll come back and see it someday in person. I sure hope you do. But for now, you gotta get out. Thanks for joining me. Shh.